The leg on the left is shortened and the leg on the right isn't. I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing. I don't like long intros, let's do this. Start with your jeans right side out as if you were gonna wear them. And the first thing that we want to identify is, well, this factory hem down here. We wanna keep this because it looks really good, it's really comfortable, and it stretches. We wanna maintain that elasticity. Well, how do we do that? I'm gonna take off two inches from these jeans. And if you don't know how much you wanna take off, you can experiment a little bit at this point. I think you should subscribe. Well, how do we do that? Do we just measure two inches from the very bottom of our jeans to that new edge? No, you don't want to do that because that's going to include our factory hem, which is a half of an inch. Instead, I'm going to start my measurement right where that factory hem ends and I'm going to measure from two inches from there. But uh, put a little sewing pin in there to hold the place and to make sure that your jeans don't roll around on you. Boop. Put some more sewing pins all around the edges there and space them out by about a half of an inch to an inch. You want some space in between them. It'll make them a lot easier to work with. Does your sewing machine look like this with this piece on it? We'll take it off so our jeans will fit and slide them on there and you're gonna start your stitch right after one of those hems there. That's gonna allow us to hide the back stitching a little bit. So start off with the back stitch, use these measurements on your sewing machine and sew as close to that factory hem there as you can possibly get it. That's what's nice about this narrow zigzag stitch is it's gonna maintain that elasticity of our factory hem so it's gonna stay nice and stretchy just the way we like it. Keep working your way around all all the way around and then once you get to that other side seam there what you want to do is you want to raise your presser foot but only go as long as you need to because you're not going to have any tension so just to get you over that hump that's it and then put your presser foot back down and then keep working your way all the way around do the same thing at that other side seam remember raise your presser foot but only momentarily because you don't have any tension that's no bueno just play connect the dots with those two stitches there and this is the finished product look at how close we got that to our original factory hem that's Oh, that's so nice, I love that. I'm gonna use some pinking shears to cut a zigzag pattern in these jeans and it's gonna prevent these jeans from fraying on me in the future, but if you don't have pinking shears, you can just use normal scissors, like those white ones that you see right there that just moved, you probably didn't even notice that, and then you're just gonna put another narrow zigzag stitch right on that edge there to prevent it from fraying instead. Ooh, looks so good. Kinda hard to tell which side is which, huh? Yeah, I know. Try them on, see how you like them, and let's, uh, let's go taper some jeans in two minutes. It's in that video right there. Click it. I'll see you over there. SD out. See ya.